Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Pegasus Drone Media. Today we're going to be looking at the Typhoon H Plus series again and another one of the flight modes. This time we're going to be looking at Curved Cable Cam or CCC as it is known. So to start with you need to open up the side menu so tap the hex in the bottom left of the ST16 screen. This will then bring up, uh, this will open up a slider menu and at the top it will have CCC. Tap the CCC and then the next menu will open up on the instructions of how to create a waypoint. Tap OK and then create a route, fly a route or manage a route. So I'll talk a little bit about this menu. So create a route. You haven't created a route before so you'll need to create one. It will end up saving as route 1. So it doesn't matter what's showing on the screen later but it will save as route 1. If you've already got a route that you've already done you can load that route in so if we've already created route one and we want to fly that again we can just tap on the fly route and then that will load in uh, bring up a menu and you can choose route one so next we're going to fly to the first waypoint we're going to set the angle of the camera and the direction of the camera that we want to point it i usually keep the camera front facing forwards um, to and then fly the drone at the angle that I want the camera to show at. So we'll go to the first one, tap the plus, and then go to the next one, tap the plus. Continue flying, so here I'm making a demonstration of turning the aircraft flying forwards and coming down on an elevation as well. When I get there, I'm gonna tap the green plus marker and then fly to wait for the tick and then fly to my next location and i shall keep doing this changing the angle of the camera changing the elevation of the camera and the drone and uh, creating just random waypoints for it to fly as what the title is a curved cable cam so once we've finished loading all this in we'll be able to set the mission and set the drone free So once I've set all the waypoints up um, and done all the camera work, we now need to save this route. So once we finish putting in the last waypoint and we're, where we want it to end up and finish, we click on the save um, and then give it a name. So I'll just call it whatever comes up next. I usually just leave it there and then click start. Now whichever way you want the route to be flown you can fly it in forwards or reverse so if you want it to fly forwards on the waypoint mission you've created simply push up on the left stick and it will fly forward if you want it to do the um, and it will basically go to the first waypoint once you do that if you want it to fly the way the route in reverse simply just pull down on the stick and then it will actually fly that route uh, backwards So at any point in the mission, if you want to stop the mission, so you've made a mistake and you don't want it to do it, and you press start, you can quite easily press the pause button and the pause will stop the aircraft in the air where it is. Mm -hmm. 
If you want to resume at any time, just press the start button again and it will resume from where it left off. So if you notice some birds nearby and you just wanted to stop the aircraft mid-flight to stop the collision, you can go straight to the resuming by clicking start and it will carry on from where it left off. If however you want to completely abort the mission completely, press pause, press the arrow on the left at the bottom of the screen and that will then exit the actual um, mode completely and then it will just you've got full control back manual control back again if you think this tutorial has been of any use to you I would really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button and clicking on the notification bell so that you'll know when I'm doing any other tutorials or I've decided to do a live stream without your support it just it's not worth even doing these so please consider subscribing if you think these tutorials are of any use to you. Well, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you again on the next tutorial. All the best. Thanks very much.